Welcome to the 48th Annual Student Affairs Awards and Recognition Ceremony. My name is Matt Knickman, and I'm the Director of the Center for Student Involvement in the Division of Student Affairs. I'm thrilled to be here with you as we honor some of the wonderful achievements over the past academic year. Tonight, we will hear from a few offices about their amazing students, and we'll be presenting several awards based on the seven Student Affairs Leadership Awards tonight. The recipients of these awards were nominated and chosen by a selection committee comprised of staff throughout the campus. Thank you to those who gave their time reviewing and deciding on these difficult decisions. Hello, my name is Denise Carey. I'm the Health and Wellness Coordinator in Health Services and the advisor to our Peer Education Program. It's nice to be here to recognize three outstanding members of our peer education team with the Peer Education Leadership Award. They have each contributed in significant ways to the health and well-being of their peers on campus. To become a CSU peer educator, students must first complete 10 to 12 hours of training in the NASPA Certified Peer Education Training Program. NASPA is the leading professional organization for student affairs professionals. From there, they choose additional trainings to gain further skills to help their peers navigate challenges. These challenges could include stress, mental health, relationship issues, seeking campus resources, and academic strain amid other college student barriers. The Peer Education Leadership Award is given to members of the HYPE team, which is the Peer Education Student Organization, helping you through peer education. It is built on the values of principles of valuing others as well as valuing your role as a peer educator, a role model, a teammate, a friend, and an advocate. Their commitment to the ed peer education code of ethics, their passion for helping to create a safe and healthy campus, and their efforts at advancing our message, be well, be healthy, be you, have earned them a 2021 Peer Education Leadership Award. All three of today's awardees have been given a very have each given very uniquely to our peer education program. Their leadership and initiative have, got, have gone above and beyond their base roles as peer educators. They have all been actively involved in the Better You Team, which is a new OCI CARES grant initiative that uses a digital coaching app to help students with their behavioral health goals. In this program, they went through additional training to become a peer wellness coach to help students navigate how to utilize this app. Since January, 300 students per month are now using the app. Our three awardees are Samira Zafiri, Marty Barnard, and David Emery. Samira is a certified peer educator, peer wellness coach, international student peer educator, and a member of our Better You team. Along with these roles, she has taken the lead with the distribution and management of a year-long prevention effort for driving under the influence with the Ohio Traffic Safety Office and the Higher Education Center for Alcohol and Other Drug Use and Recovery. She has single-handedly managed the posting calendar, tracked impressions and usage, completed and submitted reports to our partners about our distribution, and has sought and provided feedback about the content of the postings from her peers. This effort has reached hundreds of our students. Marty Barnard is a certified peer educator, a peer wellness coach, and a member of the Better You team and the Hype Team social media team. First, Marty has elevated the Hype Team social media campaigns by improving our communication ability with Twitter and Instagram. He manages our promotion and health tips content with purposeful effort and planning. As a member of our Better You team, Marty took the lead in a campus-wide mental health awareness event in early March with the Balanced Bike Challenge. He worked with campus and community members to manage the distribution of mental health first aid kits to hundreds of students, monitor the involvement of students in the week-long series of events, promoted the Better You app, and proudly awarded several students as Balanced Bike Champions. Marty cares deeply about the health and well-being of his peers and is a strong advocate for student mental health. David Imry is our student organization president. He is also a certified peer educator, member of the Better You team, an empowered bystander student facilitator, and a peer wellness coach. David has been a peer educator for the last four years and is vested in helping with others and keeping his fellow bikes healthy and safe. He has completed all of the trainings offered through peer education, which include QPR, mental health first aid, safe messaging, safe space, 
CRCC Trauma-Informed Training, Allies in Suicide Awareness and Prevention in the LGBTQ Community, Narcan Training, and various other trainings and educational sessions. He has led the team this year with dignity and grace in his efforts to keep our peer educators and the campus community engaged. He has planned our last event for the year, Fresh Air Yoga, as a day of appreciation for his fellow peer educators and a self-care day for the campus community. David has contributed greatly to the efforts of peer education over the past few years, and I'm very proud to give him this award today. Samira, David, and Marty, I could not do this work without the commitment that you have given to this program. I appreciate you and all that you have done. Congratulations, and thank you for your leadership. Hello everyone, my name is Cullen Fish and I proudly serve as Assistant Director for TRIO Student Support Services here at Cleveland State. Uh, TRIO Student Support Services is a federally based organization that serves students on Cleveland State's campus uh, that are first generation college students, meaning their parent or guardian did not graduate with a four year degree and or are Pell eligible students. We serve about 515 students every year and love what we do and we certainly have some exciting awards to share with you all as we have some exemplary students on our roster. So first and foremost, our first award up is the TRIO Spirit Award. The TRIO Spirit Award is given to an individual who's in good academic standing and exhibits participation in TRIO Student Support Services, involvement in all aspects of the TRIO program, including taking full advantage of the TRIO program and tutoring and peer mentoring. The winner for this year is Lillian Alvino. Lillian's advisor, Jordan, had this to say. Lillian is a junior majoring in mathematics and has been a member of TRIO since 2017. Throughout her time with our program, she has taken full advantage of all of our services from advising to success coaching and tutoring. Lillian brings such a great energy and enthusiasm when she attends events and interacts with other TRIO students and staff. Her holiday costumes are up there with some of the best that we've ever seen. Lillian truly embodies what it means to be a member of the TRIO family. We appreciate her for her dedication to the program. Congrats, Lillian. The next award that we'd like to offer is our TRIO Exemplary Student Award. The TRIO Exemplary Student Award is given in recognition of outstanding academic achievement and exemplary service and commitment to the TRIO Student Support Services Program. The Exemplary Student Award is to be given to an individual who exhibits scholarship and academic endeavors, so above a 3.0 GPA, leadership in campus activities and organizations, a history of community service, and service to the university. Our award this year, our award winner this year, excuse me, is Atia Najar. Atia's advisor, Jordan, had this to say. Atia is a senior majoring in philosophy with pre-med designation. He has been one of the shining stars of the TRIO Student Support Services program since he participated in our summer enrichment program in 2019. Beyond TRIO, Atia has served as a supplemental instruction leader in TASC and currently serves as the vice president of the Muslim Student Association. Atia also excels in the classroom. He currently has a perfect 4.0 GPA. Congratulations, Atia. That is very, very impressive. Our last award is given to a couple students. It is our TRIO Scholastic Achievement Award. This award is given to a junior or senior TRIO Student Support Services student with the highest cumulative GPA in his or her class and is recognized for his or her outstanding academic achievement and commitment to excellence. We have two senior winners and two junior winners. So we'll start with the seniors. Our first senior winner of the TRIO Scholastic Achievement Award is Mikhail Haswani. Mikhail is a senior majoring in mechanical engineering. He joined TRIO in the fall 2018 semester. He is very disciplined and has an extraordinary work ethic. The traits in combination with his impressive intellect have helped him achieve a perfect 4.0 GPA through his first three years at CSU. Mikhail is an incredible young man and has a very bright future ahead of him. Our next senior award winner for our TRIO Scholastic Achievement Award is Ashley Guerra Valenzuela. Ashley's advisor, Jason, had this to say. Ashley is an outstanding academic achiever in the Cleveland State TRIO program, currently having completed 115 credit hours with a perfect 4.0 GPA. She is working on finishing her bachelor's degree in health sciences along with a minor in Spanish health sciences, excuse me. Ashley's goal is to attend medical school following her time at CSU. Congratulations to both Mikhail and Ashley. And finally, we have two junior winners of our TRIO Scholastic Achievement Award. Our first winner is Madison Crenshaw. Madison's advisor, Jason, had this to say. Madison has accumulated 68 credit hours and is currently finishing up her first year at CSU while also taking part in the previous 2020 TRIO Summer Enrichment Program. She holds a perfect 4.0 GPA and is awaiting acceptance to the School of Nursing Traditional Day Program here at Cleveland State. Congratulations, Madison. And our last award winner uh, for the junior category is Ella Durick. 
Ella is a junior majoring in speech and hearing and since attending CSU has a perfect 4.0 GPA. This summer, she plans to begin volunteering at Gigi's Playhouse, and she is also doing research with one of her professors. Her goal post-graduation is to continue her education to get her Master of Arts in Speech Language Pathology. She also aspires to travel to Europe with her family after graduation. So Ella, Madison, Ashley, Mikhail, Atia, and Lillian, congratulations to you. You are all outstanding members of our program. Um, amidst a bunch of other outstanding members of our program. So congratulations to you, you certainly deserve it. And in spite of all the challenges the last year has, prevent, has uh, provided us, um, you all have prevailed and been exceptional members of our program. So congratulations on everything, job well done. Hello, my name is Rodolfo Paxanan. I'm the Director of Events and Conference Services here at Cleveland State University. I'm honored to present this year's Excellence in Programming Award. Over the pandemic, this individual has offered a programming series in collaboration with the Greater Cleveland Food Bank and Cleveland Neighborhood Programs. These programs have been in the following three areas, nutrition, financial wellness, and SNAP eligibility. Each one is offered virtually and are free to, free to participate. Based on feedback from pantry users, this program series was newly implemented this year with the aim to expand further and offer in-person programming in the new resource center once we fully return to campus. With access and basic needs being even more challenging this year due to COVID-19, this workshop series has been extremely beneficial to our students and campus community. Today's honored individual and the Lift Up Bikes student staff were instrumental in the designing of these programs. Lift Up Bikes has continued to offer meaningful programming in an accessible way while relying on expert presenters with the goal of providing information that can lessen the burden on some of our students. Lift Up Bikes is meeting student needs and helping them to be safe, healthy, and more successful. These efforts are unique and creative due to the fact that this type of basic needs responsive programming isn't offered anywhere else on campus to the entire student population. Providing free, accessible, needs-based offerings specific to CSU students, we would like to con congratulate Holly Fisher and Lift Up Bikes for their excellence in programming. Hello, my name is Tyler Jones and I am the Deputy Athletics Director here at Cleveland State and I'm excited to present two recipients of this year's Proudest Viking Award. Our first winner is Student Body President Renee Betterson. Renee has led the Student Government Association this year in truly unprecedented times. She has served as the face of the university. She has modeled masks, presented with President Sands, work with faculty senate and consistently gone above and beyond the duties of SGA president. As many students have had to take a step back in the time of the pandemic, Renee has stepped forward. She has co-chaired university committees, taken on roles of vacant positions in SGA and consistently asked the question, how can SGA help? Most recently, she has worked to provide free graduation regalia to over 100 students graduating from CSU. Congratulations and thank you, Renee. Our second winner tonight is David Emery. David is responsible, mature, and displays incredible amounts of integrity and passion for his profession and for CSU. David's drive and initiative are evident in the way he solves problems and goes above and beyond his daily duties. Through his involvement, David has shown commitment to training fellow students in how to best intervene in bystander situations as an empowered bystander trainer. His concern for student and campus safety amid COVID was also apparent as he became a student safety advisor. In this role, he engaged with students, faculty, and staff on proper usage and implementation of campus safety protocols. David extends himself outside of the classroom by participating on campus committees and maintaining a leadership role in the CSU Student Government Association, as well as working at the Southwest General Hospital. David has contributed to the campus culture, utilizing his skills he has learned through mental health first aid, safe space and suicide prevention training, trauma-informed, safe messaging practices, amongst others. Congratulations and thank you, David. Hello, my 
name is Stephanie Nunley, and I'm the coordinator for graduate recruitment at Cleveland State University here in the College of Graduate Studies. Tonight, we are honoring three recipients. The first individual has helped to design, coordinate, reevaluate, teach, and improve the Calculus 1 and 2 curriculum for the past four semesters. In addition, they have designed and taught an eight week, five day a week summer calculus online course last year, as well as they'll be doing it again this year. Their pass rates for these courses are remarkably high at 80% each semester, which is pretty much unheard of for these type of math courses. They work tirelessly in their own academic courses, as well as the courses they teach. All the while, they are preparing weekly ongoing differentiated instructional assignments and quizzes for each of the Math 165, 167, and 168 sections. That's an average of six sections per semester, so it is a ton of work. Um, throughout all of this, this individual has worked around the clock to help courses run smoothly for instructors by tailoring assignments to specific classes and making sure their assignments are ready to go and on time. Congratulations, Justin Simmerer. The second winner tonight is a student in the American Psychological Association's accredited doctoral program in counseling psychology. The nominator for this individual was incredibly impressed by their commitment to their classmates and the curriculum in the course, which focuses on student provision of mental health services at practicum sites. Their research interests are in areas of acculturation and mental health and international student, the mental health of international students. Her past clinical experiences have been diverse in terms of population and in terms of setting, such as in hospitals, schools, and government facilities. She has been a licensed as a clinical psychologist in Japan, a lecturer in the developmental psychology in China, and conducted progressive research training working for the Counseling Center here at Cleveland State University as a graduate assistant. Congratulations, Ming-Chi Yin. Our third graduate student of the year is in her first year as, as of the social work graduate program. They have been doing all of their classes and internships with the community assessment response evalu and evaluation. This is the care team and she's been doing all of this remotely. So during our conversations with her, she, they, she shared that, she shared how this was not exactly how they expected to start graduate school, her graduate school career. Um, and they really haven't even been on our campus. However, while they were dealing with how COVID-19, the COVID-19 pandemic is affecting them themselves and everyone, they are also taking on a new role as a graduate student and intern. Their work has been impeccable. Uh, they joined CARE during a time where cases were increased. They have graciously taken on more cases, consulted on more situations, and done more outreach as we are all working to provide a high level of support to students. The nominator continued to be in awe of their dedication, innovation, and positivity. Our students benefit from their calm presence, knowledge of resources, and ability to re relate to how challenging this time is for everyone. Congratulations, Brooke Steffens. Hello, my name is Kara Talisha, and I am the LGBTQ plus student services coordinator here at CSU. Tonight, we have two student award winners who are dedicated to promoting understanding, acceptance, and celebration of our diversity. The first winner tonight is a student that has made a difference by facilitating their program's learning about the diverse needs of the greater Cleveland communities through organization of volunteer efforts and presentations to classes. Additionally, they co-host an interprofessional graduate event dedicated to diversity and advocating for the field of occupational therapy through their efforts to attend webinars and conferences virtually while accomplishing all of the previously referenced. 
This individual co-founded Cleveland State's first chapter of the Coalition of Occupational Therapy Advocates for Diversity in order to advocate for diverse populations of clients and therapy practitioners at Cleveland State. They are the volunteer chair for the Student Occupational Therapy Association and the president of the CSU chapter of the Coalition of Occupational Therapy Advocates for Diversity. They were nominated because of their demonstrated and unwavering commitment to facilitating the learning of their classmates and to serving the greater Cleveland community. Congratulations, Deborah Ober. The second award winner is categorized by their nominees as more than just a CSU student. They are currently student teaching at Campus International in mathematics, carrying a high GPA while competing on a championship women's basketball team and earning two-time Defensive Player of the Year awards for the Horizon League. However, they have not just stayed focused on the classroom and on the court, but they have extended themselves to make a difference in the athletics department and on student athletes by creating and sharing the diversity, equity, and inclusion position on the SAAC. Their senior year has been one of impact on the community as they led the student athletes through a voting campaign, working with coaching staffs and student athletes of different sports to make students aware of current voting issues, as well as working to get the student athlete population registered and voting in the 2020 election. After a successful voting campaign, they continued to drive attention to DEI through collaboration with Athletic Department's DEI Committee serving as the student representative and assisting in the promotion of John McLendon Day during the Horizon League basketball season. Recently, out of nearly a thousand nominated scholar athletes, Diverse Issues in Higher Education named this individual its 2021 Arthur Ashey Jr. Female Sports Scholar of the Year for best exemplifying the standards of scholarship, athleticism, and humanitarianism. This individual was also a top 10 finalist for the Senior Class Award, which takes into account student athletes' achievements in the four areas of community, classroom, character, and competition. Congratulations, Mariah White. Hello, my name is Dan Lenhart, and I work in the Center for Student Involvement, managing all of our 200 plus student organizations, working closely with all student organization officers and advisors. Tonight's recipient is an advisor, a friend, and a role model for students involved within this organization. With their 10 plus years as a group advisor, they have positively impacted the lives of the students they work with and the campus community as a whole. They exhibit creativity, compassion, and empathy with their students and are always checking in to make sure they're okay. They have taught students to prioritize themselves and to take part in self-care. They are a passionate leader and their enthusiasm is contagious. They have taken the lead on so many aspects of campus, including student safety ambassadors, advising the hype team, coordinating the Better You group, leading the PRISM speaker series, maintaining her leadership in multiple prevention committees, and much more. Please join me in congratulating Denise Curie, Wellness Coordinator in the Department of Health and Wellness as the Student Organization Advisor of the Year. Congratulations, Denise. My name is Tamika Rashid. I serve as the Assistant Vice President, Inclusive Student Engagement here at Cleveland State University. This year's Diane Dillard Student Organization of the Year Award winner has put on quality programming, maintained active participation of its members, and had a focus on organizational management during a challenging year. As uncertainty settled in when COVID first began, this sisterhood kept calm and collected. Each member has done her best to ensure that each sister remains in contact, excels academically, and is staying safe in the midst of the pandemic. Rather it be scheduling events online, putting together resources for members during times of uncertainty or getting certifications in psychological first aid, the organization has stayed committed to making everyone feel safe and welcome. 
Even though we have been online, sorority functions have not stopped due to being able to adapt everything to being virtual. The organization has streamed video games, hosted PowerPoint nights, at virtual events with other organizations, and so much more. The group has not lost any members during the pandemic, and boards that sisters have attended over 80% of chapter functions. Congratulations to Phi Sigma Rho Engineering Sorority. Dr. Shane and Graybar Milliken, and I have the honor of serving Cleveland State University as the Vice President of Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Tonight, it's my honor to actually award three students the Peggy Kirshner Outstanding Student Leader Awards. The first individual that we're going to recognize tonight has served their community by taking on a new role as a liaison between the student group and the community chapter. Through this, they've been participating in virtual community meetings, coordinating with CSU alumni, and serving on an advisory panel. They have served the university by going above and beyond in their roles on crews for several theater and dance productions, which the nominator applauds as going well beyond what was required to a degree that theater faculty consider her contributions a service to the department. Not only is this individual a dedicated student leader, they excel in their coursework as well, while balancing the additional responsibilities of being a varsity athlete in track and field. They have also been awarded as a Department of Art and Design Merit Scholar four years in a row and have held multiple internships. It is especially meaningful to reflect that this individual's service and achievements continue to grow and their energy and enthusiasm did not wane in the midst of the global pandemic when all of their activity went entirely remote. Through their role as student president, they took the lead on the Get Out the Vote campaign, working with the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections and local businesses to have student designed voting advocacy promotions distributed across the county. AIGA is the oldest largest professional organization for designers in the country with more than 20,000 members and over 70 professional chapters nationwide. Tonight, we recognize AIGA president and student athlete, Lauren Zowie. Congrats, Lauren. Our second winner of the evening is the current president of a club sports team. This school year, was their first year in this position, and they managed to do everything they could to keep the team intact and engaged. Even though our clubs couldn't practice, travel, or compete, this individual made sure their teammates were still involved in other activities, such as virtual bonding events and keeping up with their skills on their own. They continued to push their club on social media, set up volunteer opportunities for players to participate and that they allowed them to help people in the community and continued to plan for the 21-22 school year by planning practice schedules, potential scrimmages, mocking up new uniforms, and advocating for the team and their success. When other clubs and organizations may have hit the pause button, this individual and his officers found ways to progress forward. I'm excited to see what next school year has in store for them. Congratulations to Men's Soccer Club President, Julio Lemus. The last award this evening goes to an individual who has long been a dedicated advocate and ambassador of Cleveland State. They are described as an active leader, contributor, and participant to several organizations and involved in planning many events and programs. In one of their supervisory roles, this individual has demonstrated impressive leadership qualities, including conflict management, effective communication, and critical thinking, among others. They've also built trust and rapport with their team and provide an outside, outstanding example of what it is to be a student leader. 
Among the larger Cleveland community, this individual spends a great deal of their time volunteering and giving back through various roles with locally and nationally recognized organizations. They currently serve as an ambassador with both Meals on Wheels and the American Red Cross, and was also part of the Volunteers of America's Operation Backpack in 2020, which strives to collect and provide school supplies for kids and families who may struggle to afford them. They are currently a resident assistant, a student ambassador, and continue to be a confident leader at the CSU Rec Center as an operations supervisor. In addition, this individual has been part of the University Judicial Affairs and recently served as a student representative on the Trustee Student Search Committee. Congratulations goes to Glenn Parker. Congratulations to all of our award recipients tonight. We thank you for continuing your commitment to Cleveland State University in a year unlike any other we've had before. We look forward to your continued dedication to the university as a student, staff, and alumnus. We'll always be here for you. We hope to celebrate with you next year in person, and we hope you have a wonderful summer. Thank you so much and congrats. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. We thank all of you for continuing your commitment to Cleveland State University in a year like no other. We look forward to your continued dedication to the university as a student, staff member, or alumnus. Thank you and go Vikings.